This lecture is going to cover the respiratory system's major structures and functions. Now concerning the respiratory system, its major function is gas exchange, getting oxygen from the outside air into your lungs and then into your body for proper cell function, and then the vice versa, getting the waste gas product, carbon dioxide, from your body into your lungs to leave your body. Of course, this works with the circulatory system because it's the blood that carries both the waste, carbon dioxide, and the oxygen throughout your body. Now, most of you are familiar with the major structures, I mean, especially the external ones. So, through your, both your nose and your mouth, which is not mentioned on this slide, these are both structures on your face. Of course, your nose consists mainly of those two nostrils, right? Your mouth you're all familiar with when we're talking about things that you eat, talk through, et cetera, et cetera. And both of these are where air enters into your system and leaves from your system. Now your pharynx is the, the fancy way of saying throat. Um, and this is what connects the nose to your larynx, the neck structure within your respiratory system. So air starts in your nose and your pharynx, nose and mouth, and it goes to your pharynx, and then it goes to your larynx. This is the fancy way of saying your voice box, and it is the piece that connects the pharynx to the trachea. Now your trachea is also known as your windpipe. Um, if you ever look at the structure, especially when we get to the part where we dissect um, pigs and stuff in the class, you'll see that the trachea is a very whitish looking structure and it's sort of ridged looking and so it always makes me think of like when you go to Six Flags or some other amusement park or a gas station and you get those big thicker straws that go with the like big gulps and stuff like that and they kind of have the ridges on them it's almost what a trachea looks like but this connects the larynx so your voice box to the next structure in your respiratory system the bronchus now, bronchus is the singular word. The trachea leads to the bronchus, one of two bronchus, plural. They're called bronchi. Um, and these are the main tubes that run from the trachea into the bronchioles. Since it branches off into two bronchi, right, each one goes into either your right or your left lung. Right? And they kind of continue to divide up into different, different levels, secondary, tertiary, etc., until you get to bronchioles, right? And the bronchioles are just much smaller tubes. And again, it continues to branch and web out. These are made of smooth muscle and they carry on and continue to break down into smaller and smaller tubes. And so as these bronchioles keep dividing and dividing, they finally end in these structures called alveoli. Now these are air sacs in your lungs. It's at the end of each one of all these finite branching of the bronchioles. And this is where gas exchange actually takes place, where the process of respiration takes place. Um, if you look at this picture, you'll see that the alveoli, it's a picture in the top right, are covered in blood vessels, completely covered, and that's because that's where respiration takes place. You've got to get that gas exchange of the oxygen that you've breathed into your lungs from those alveoli, those air sacs, into the bloodstream. And the reverse process, you need to get that waste product, carbon dioxide, from your bloodstream into the lungs so your body can get rid of it through exhalation. Um, and again, these are all structures, these are all within the lungs. The lungs, of course, are your major organ in the process of respiration and ventilation. And again, like I say, there's a right and a left, and that's why you have the division of the bronchi from the trachea. And you can see a nice diagram of that in the bottom right hand of the 